fellow South Africans, I believe that our country has entered a period of change. Guys, um, I'm Malif Mukwena, and you can find me on Facebook as Malif Mukwena and on Instagram at Songoza. Hey! Good day, my name is Shama Gudunga Welcome to another episode of Free State of Mind on Talk and the Shows on YouTube. Hi guys, my name is Ghalibu Hila Mugebe and welcome to another episode of Free State Talk and the Shows. Hi, my name is Tembi Jack. I am studying Educare, doing N6, which is the final semester. What fascinates me about this course is that I get to help children in so many ways. I get to help them develop emotionally, mentally, physically, all aspects that you can think of. Okay, so first question would be, where are you currently studying? I am studying at Mattel, Tibet College, in Bloemfontein, and I'm doing my N5 in marketing. Like N Shay. First question, where are you currently studying? I'm um, studying at Maluti Tibet College, Eden Helen Campus, doing civil engineering. Um, what fascinates you about your course? Everything about it. Just I've always wondered how big buildings are constructed from the foundation upwards, like buildings like Eiffel Tower. So being able to learn about those, how they're done, just so amazing. Yes. What fascinates you about your course? Ah. Uh, everything about it it's fun although there's a lot of theory it's fun um it has a lot of information about such and stuff like example i didn't do economics back in high school when i got to motel i started doing economics it was a bit difficult but then yeah at least now i know a little stuff about economics so I went to school and got my degree and got my honours and I'm currently busy with my master's degree at this point. So yeah. What keeps me motivated is my mother. My mother is my superwoman. She has been through storms and she has come out a better person, stronger than ever. She motivated. What keeps me motivated is... Ah... Uh, money money keeps me motivated and the thought of being able to like go to school you know having um bursaries is the one that um motivates me you know because i can go to school you know and my mom my mom motivates me i don't know how many i should actually say but those are the few things that motivate me in life um what keeps you motivated um waking up every single morning seeing the the ones that i love seeing them alive you know like <sighs> yeah just that makes me keep on pushing more and more motivated me to go to school was that i woke up and told myself every day a good say girl you got this let's do this <laughs> so yeah and what actually led me to me wanting to do to do it like yeah you like you get it me wanting to do it was the fact that uh my brother went to varsity and my sister went to varsity and they got their degrees so i was like nah man I can also do this. I got this. Lens, if you were in Parliament, which amendment would you change to laws of violence and rape? Um, I would raise awareness of the dangers of harmful traditions, tackle violence against girls in school, um, challenge and speak out about violence at home. That's really important. Parents should talk about those kind of things um because of if one day the children are violated by someone somehow they can be able to just speak out about it freely and if i were to change some of the laws there i would implement death sentences and i would implement life sentences guys 
I believe our justice system is very poor. It's very, very poor. Especially when it comes to such acts. So, if it was up to me, guys, Kitwakasi. <laughs> that one you should know, Kitwakasi. And me being from Kasi, I believe in... What's this? I was trying to say it in English, but then it doesn't sound that bad in English. But then, that's... News Mubati. Umpagati. Uso, uso, uso seven and how something like that. So I do believe Uti. No, let the community deal with the person. If when now you see yourself as Somandla and you can beat up your wife or your girlfriend, let the community do that to you. I can say you see yourself as Mr. Powerful. <laughs> so I believe that the community should do something about you. The tire, watch what that used that they used to do to witches back then. They should ban those people that abused women. If you abuse a woman, yeah, we're gonna abuse you and ban you alive. <laughs> like, like, but then on a serious note, yeah, I I really wish that our justice system could really, really, really take this gender based violence cases seriously. Yeah. If I were to co uh, continue with this career and further it to go overseas, obviously, I would love to go to Madagascar. I would really love to help the people in Madagascar with the education. I would love to help the children develop and become brighter. But um, I would add a career of being a chef because I love cooking. Like, I love cooking. And I would also add a career of beauty because... I, I like nice stuff, you know. And yeah. um, today we have a platform of doing a variety of things. Which additional career would you add on in the future? Well, um, I'm doing modeling too, so I'm a model. But except for for modeling, I would add um nursing. Yeah, I've always wanted to be a nurse. So yeah. Like and share.